gonna start off with primer. I'm using the It Cosmetics number 50 Serum Collagen Veil Anti-Aging Primer. It's a really long name for a primer. And I'm just gonna do half a pump of this because a little bit really does go a long way with this product. And I just like to pat it into my skin first before I really rub it in and let it absorb and do its thing. And this smells really refreshing. And then I like to just rub it into my skin and let it absorb and do its thing. And of course, I'm going to prime my eyes today. I'm just using the Laura Mercier Eye Basics in the color Wheat. And I've had this for a while and I've just rediscovered it again in my makeup collection. And I forgot how much I loved it and how great of a job it does as just as an eye primer. And the color Wheat kind of cancels out the redness that I have on top of my eyelids. I honestly don't know what I'm going to be doing for this whole makeup look for date night. I usually tend to go really smoky and sultry for date nights just because that's what my boyfriend loves on me. But I do know that I want to use the Gwen Stefani palette from Urban Decay. I picked this up um, maybe two and a half weeks ago and I've been using it ever since. I am completely in love with this palette. I know that I'm really late on this bandwagon because Everyone and their mother has put out a review and tutorials on this, but I just absolutely love it. So I'm just gonna kind of jump into this palette and see what we create. I'm feeling a very neutral, sultry, smoky eye. So maybe these two colors and then this really pretty shimmery one down here. And then maybe a pop of this cobalt blue um, as my liner. It just looks really pretty and kind of hard to resist. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in and get started on our eyes. So for my eyes, I'm gonna start by laying down an eyeshadow base. This is the Maybelline Color Tattoo 24 Hour Eyeshadow in the color Chocolate Suede. And it just looks like this. It's just a really um, dark brown color. So I'm just gonna take that on an Urban Decay synthetic brush. And I'm just gonna apply this on the outer half of my eyes since I wanna keep the inner half kind of bright and shimmery. So I'm just gonna lay this down on the outer half and not go too far past my crease. You don't have to make this part too neat because we're just gonna clean it up with eyeshadows um, in a little bit. So I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other eye. I'm also going to take this chocolate sweet color and line my lower lash line. So to blend out that chocolate brown we laid down on our lids and just to soften up the lines a little bit, I'm going to go with the color Anaheim from the um, palette. It's this really cool tone matte brown color kind of on the taupey side. I'm just going to take that on a blending brush and put that right on top of that brown color and into our crease and blend it all the way into the inner corner. It creates a really pretty nice um, shadow on our crease and it just looks really natural and really smoky. So. I'm just going to lightly layer this color on, so go back and do it in light layers instead of just putting on a whole pile of eyeshadow at once. And just to diffuse that crease color a little bit, I'm going to go with the color Stark. It's a really um, pretty kind of pale peachy color, also another matte, which makes it great for blending out your crease and lid color because it looks really natural. So I'm just going to put this right on top of that crease color and blend it up into our brow bone. So now it's time for the fun part. I'm going to add a little bit of sparkle onto my eyes. I'm going to take Steady, which is a really pretty um, champagne rose color, and put this right in the inner corner and into the middle part of my eye. So we're not going to go and lighten up that dark part that we've worked so hard on. I'm just going to pat this in the inner corner, and then whatever's left on the brush, I'm just going to tap it into the middle part of my eye. Next 
Next, I'm going to go with the color Punk. It's a really pretty um, matte brown color with lots of purple and red undertones. And this color is pretty pigmented, so after you dab your brush into it, just make sure you tap off the excess. And this, I'm just going to lay out in the outer V. And you want to work this color in really slowly because it is so pigmented, so don't be impatient with this part of the look. Um, you definitely don't want just this dark, dark mass of color over here. You want to lightly blend it in so that it has a really pretty gradient effect and a really smoky effect. And you can bring this color in a little bit into the inner corner, just add a little bit more depth to the look. But you mainly want to concentrate this color on our outer V. And then usually whenever I do a smoky eye, whatever's left on my brush, I kind of drag that darker color right at the base of my eyelid, so right at the bottom, and not really going in towards the inner part, but just dragging whatever leftover color that is right onto the bottom of my lids. It adds a really pretty kind of smoky effect going into your inner corners, like you're lining your eyes but you're actually not. I don't know what it is about this extra step, but it always makes my smoky eye a little bit more smoky and a little bit pulled together. So that's a little trick for you guys. Next, I'm just going to take another blending brush and go in with the color Zone. It's a really nice matte mid-brown color. So I'm just going to take this and kind of put it on top of our crease color just to blend everything in and make sure that there are no harsh lines. And this brown also helps warm up the entire look. So just a little bit of it, not too much. And then for my brow bone color, I'm just gonna take um, Blonde over here. It's a nice pale yellow color, always my favorite color to highlight my brow bone with because it looks the most natural. I'm going to take this on a fluffier brush. Usually I put it on a really um, densely packed brush for a really nice highlighted effect. But because our eyes are so stark and bold, I want to keep this color really light and minimal. So I'm just going to do a light dusting of this right underneath my brow bone. And just because I'm so obsessed with this color called Pop at the bottom, it's a really chunky, glittery, pale pink. You can use it wet for a really nice, intense, um, metallic pink, but I just want a little bit of its sparkle, so I'm going to take it on a fluffy brush. And there is major fallout with this eyeshadow because it is so chunky and glitter, but I absolutely love it for just an extra kind of hint of sparkle on your eyes. So I'm going to put that right in the inner corner and then brush whatever's left over right on top of our lids. And it adds this really subtle, sparkly eye effect that really catches the light in the most gorgeous way. To finish up with the rest of my eyes, I'm just going to throw on a winged liner and some false lashes. My liner you guys are always asking about and I always forget to put it in the description box or here um, when I'm labeling what products I'm using. This is the Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner and Serum in the color Deep Brown. And this is by Physician Formula. It's probably one of my favorite liquid eyeliner there is. It is in the felt, not felt, um, brush tip applicator and it applies your liner really smoothly and evenly and it just is really opaque. And I'm using brown today. You can use charcoal or black or whatever liner choice you want. But because our eyes are so brown and warm, I kind of want to keep it in that tone. So I'm just going to do a really quick winged liner, throw in some false lashes, and I'll be right back to finish up with the rest of our look. So I have my winged liner and lashes on today. I just used the KISS number 11 lashes. They're kind of like the Demi Wispies, but just a little bit fuller and a little bit longer towards the end. But they still look really natural and really nice and sexy for date night. So that's what I have on my eyes right now. Um, what am I going to do next? I'm going to touch up my brows just a little bit because I feel like they're a little bit bare right now. 
so let me find my brush. I'm just going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Duo. I'm in the color dark brown. So I'm going to go with the lighter color first and just fill in the front of my brows. And yes, I am still working on that brow tutorial. I'm just figuring out the best way to film it as well as the best products to recommend you guys. I'm such a huge fan of the Anastasia brow, well, Anastasia anything, but her brow products are just so amazing to me. But I do want to um, find some drugstore alternatives for you guys because these products by her are kind of on the pricey side for just your eyebrows. Um, so if you can't justify spending 20 something dollars on a brow product, I would like to recommend you guys some other products that are more affordable and more reasonable. So I am working on that video still. I don't really like to carve out my eyebrows with concealer to make them look neat because that just doesn't look too natural to me for date night. Um, I think wearing false lashes freak out my boyfriend enough. so. I really like to have my natural eyebrows for date night so I don't scare him off completely. So that is it for our eyebrows. Next I'm going to move on to mascara. This is the Buxom Vanity Lash Mascara in the color Show Off Black. I'm just going to do a light layer of this onto my lashes just to blend in my real lashes into the falsies to make it look really natural and well blended together. And I'm just trying this mascara for the past week or so and I've really been enjoying it. The brush is gigantic if you can tell from comparing it to my eye and this brush. It's probably one of the biggest brushes I own regarding mascara. But I think that's what makes my lashes look really full and long when I use this uh, mascara because the brush is so big. So that is it for our eyes for right now. I'm gonna go and finish up with the rest of my face before I finish up my under eyes. So let's zoom you guys back out and finish up with our face. So for my face, I'm gonna start off with obviously putting on foundation since our primer has set in and done its thing. I'm gonna use the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in the color Stromboli. This is my go-to foundation every day actually, um, but especially for date night, I just did one pump on my fingers. Um, definitely for date night because it covers up my blemishes but it still makes my skin look like natural skin. I don't look cakey or too made up so I still look like me just with flawless skin which is exactly what I'm going for for date night and I just like to tap this in with my foundation brush and then buff it into my skin. This foundation is amazing for any occasion, but I think that for date nights, this should be your go-to foundation if you have um, dry to normal skin because it's really hydrating, but it keeps you matte, but still gives you that nice dewy look, so I don't know, it's just like the perfect foundation. And that's really it for blending it in. It blends in so easily. So my skin is nice and even and one color. The little pimple that you guys have probably been staring at this entire video is covered up. It's peeking through a little bit, but I don't mind a couple blemishes um, peeking through. My boyfriend knows what I look like without makeup, so he's going to have to deal with this situation. So next is under eye concealer. I can deal with the redness around my face, but my dark circles are what I'm very sensitive about when it comes to makeup. So today I'm using the Naked Skin um, Concealer. This is by Urban Decay and this is their Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. I've been trying this out for maybe the past month or so now. I haven't said anything about it just because I wanted to give it a try before I did a review on it for you guys. And so far I am completely in love with this. I can see why people are obsessed with this concealer. And I picked up the color Medium Neutral. I was going to pick up the lighter shade, but I didn't want my under eyes to be too bright and highlighted. So I just went with something a little bit lighter than my skin tone. And this is really great for highlighting your face as well. So I'm just going to blend this in. So again with my concealer, just like my foundation, I like to tap it into my skin before I go and blend it in. And this concealer is so creamy and it's really lightweight and liquidy which makes it really easy to blend in and it just 
completely covers up my dark circles. It's like magic in a bottle. I don't know why it's taking me this long to try it out, but I'm so glad that I did. So if you really want a flawless look, then go ahead and set your foundation with a powder foundation. I have a whole routine video for that, so I'll link that video down below if you want a really full coverage foundation look. But since I just want a really natural skin looking feel to this whole makeup look, I'm just going to go ahead and set my under eyes. I'm going to use the color Lyric from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. Best powder for your under eyes ever. And then I'll just take whatever's left on the brush and just set my T-zone where I would get the most oily and keep the rest of my skin really natural looking and dewy looking from the foundation. Next is bronzer. I'm going to skip the whole contouring um, part because I don't want a really harsh makeup look today. I just want to go really soft and smoky and just really nice and glowy. So I'm going to use the Too Faced Chocolate, um, what is this, Chocolate Soleil matte bronzer and I'm in the color medium deep. I'm just going to take this on a Real Techniques multitask brush and put this right onto the back of my cheeks and blend it towards the front. And this stuff smells so good. Every time I use it I have to like take a little break just to sniff the chocolate out of this thing. So you can just see that it adds a really nice warm glow to my face without being too bronzy or too harsh. I'm also going to put this right into my hairline on my forehead. And just at the tip of my nose. So before we move on to blush, I'm going to finish up with the rest of our eyes because it looks a little bit uneven and weird right now. So I'm just going to go in with the color. Um, we'll do... Serious, which is a nice charcoal gray. I'm just going to take this on a tiny shade of brush and line my lower lash line with it. This color is also really, really pigmented, so just be careful with fallout, especially if you've already done your foundation and concealer. And then with the pencil brush, I'm going to go in with the color Zone again, that mid-tone brown. And I'm going to smoke out that color and bring it a little bit lower than I normally would to make this look really, really smoky and really sultry. Then I'm just going to take a small angle brush, spray it with a little bit of Fix Plus, and going in with the color Danger, which is that cobalt blue, and I'm just going to dab that into that color and line just a little bit of my lower lash line. Probably just the inner third of it. It adds a really pretty kind of pop of color that's super subtle, but as soon as the light catches it, it adds a little bit of mystery and just looks really sexy and flirty right in the inner corner. Then as my inner corner highlight, I'm going to take the Becca um, Shimmering Skin Perfector in the color Pearl. My palette is completely shattered. I'm so heartbroken by this, so I'm not going to really show it to you guys, but you guys know what this looks like. It's been around everywhere. Oh goodness, it's like breaking up as I put my brush into it. Maybe I should get a new one. So I'm just going to take this on a really small pencil brush and use this as my inner corner highlight. And of course, I'm going to throw in a little bit of mascara onto my bottom lashes. This is the, uh, what are you? It Cosmetics Hello Lashes Mascara. And this is great for their bottom lashes because of that ball tip at the end. It helps grab onto every little, puny little lashes that I have and coat it really well. So that is a complete look for our eyes. We're gonna move back to our face. I wanna keep my blush really nice and neutral, but just add a little bit of glow to my cheeks because my eyes are so dramatic. So I'm going to use Warm Soul. This is a mineralized blush by MAC. I'm going to take this on my blush brush, tap off the excess, 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 and put this right on top of my cheekbones. This adds a really nice subtle pink color, but because it's a mineralized, a mineralized blush, um, it adds a really pretty glow to your cheekbones. So because the blush gives such a nice glow and highlighted look, I'm not going to put any highlighter on my cheekbones, but I am going to highlight my nose, so I'm just going to use the Hourglass um, 
ambient lighting powder in the color Dim Light. I'm just going to take a little bit of this and put it down the bridge of my nose and onto the ball of it. Also just the center of my forehead and chin. And this powder is amazing because it just kind of diffuses and, whoa, drop my brush, it diffuses and just blurs out all your lines and pores, so it makes your face look really soft and dimly lit, hence it's called dim light. So it's perfect for date night when you just want the perfect glow to your face without being too shimmery and too highlighted. So that is it for our face. We're going to move on to our lips. What am I going to wear on my lips? Um, so for our lips, I think I want to keep it really neutral and pink since I want the main focus to be our eyes. And I love pink lips and brown eyes paired together. I think it just looks really girly and feminine and just really pretty. So I'm just going to take the Milani... What are you called? Um, it's these lipsticks in the gold packaging. I think it's called the Color Statement Lipstick. And I am going to use the color Nude Cream. It's a really pretty nude pink. And these... It smells delicious, it smells like candy or a popsicle, I can't put my finger on it but it smells so good and they're so hydrating and so comfortable to wear and this is one of my favorite colors so I'm just gonna apply this on my lips. And I like to just pat this color into my lips to soften it up and make my lips look extra juicy and it makes the color a little bit more natural. You can leave your lips like this, but because I'm a lip gloss fanatic, I'm just going to apply a little bit of the MAC lip gloss in the color Cherry Blossom right onto the center of my lips. And again, I like to just pat this into my lips. So this makes your lip look a little bit fuller, but also gives it a really natural effect. So this is the complete makeup look guys. I hope you guys had fun getting ready with me for my date night. It's a really gorgeous look. He just looked like you but bump up the sexiness. It's really sultry and sexy and smoky but you still look really natural and pretty and just glowy which I think is perfect for any date night occasion. So I hope you give this look a try. That is it for this video guys. As always, thank you so much for watching and if you have any other looks you want me to create or put together then leave them down in the comments below and I will see you next time. Bye guys!